Hello everyone, it's Next from Pixel Next. I hope you're having a wonderful day as I am. In this video, I am going to show you how you can use your business or profesh professional email address inside Gmail for free. So you don't need to use G Suite, you don't need to pay monthly recurring fees to do this. This is all going to be done inside your Builderall a platform where you can host unlimited amount of email addresses so Builderall is basically a platform where you can uh, host your sales funnels, you can have unlimited amount of subdomains, you can connect the domains and they host it in them, you can have unlimited amount of email, business email and professional emails inside them. So without wasting any more time, let's hop into my screen and I'll show you how to do it step by step. Alright everyone, now you're inside my screen, I'm going to show you step by step how you can do this. So as I said, this video is about how you can use your business or professional email address with Gmail for free inside Builderall. So in another video, I might be doing another video about how you can do this inside Gmail. But it's basically the same, the same concept. Right here on the right, I have a document which I created. It outlines uh, all of the details that you need inside this video to actually make this a success. And don't worry, it's completely for free. Um, you can check it out in the description below for this uh, document if you can't see it. But I'm just going to bring it out here on the side so that it's easier for me to walk you through how we can do this. So as you can see here, I'm already inside my Builderall account. This is my, my sales funnels and everything. So the way to access it, um, go to Builders here, uh, Builders, drag and drop pixel perfect, and this, you access my sites. All right, so basically we need to configure two things inside here. First, we need to configure the incoming server and also the outcoming, out, outgoing server. What this means is um, when someone sends an email to the professional email address, we need to configure the settings, SMTP, SMTP incoming server setting um, going inside the Gmail app and also going outside from Gmail to that person that sent that email to you. All right, if this all sounds confusing, don't worry about it. I'm going to show you how to do it step by step. Um, okay, but before that, these are some prerequisites. First, you must have a build role account. So if you haven't got one yet, you can you can click it here inside the document and you can access a uh, free trial. Next, you need to have a domain name connected inside Builderall. So usually I use Namecheap. You can also get it from Bluehost, GoDaddy, it doesn't matter where you get it from. To be able to connect it inside Builderall and then access um, the Rainloop webmail inside Builderall. Next, you must have a Gmail account. And also, this is an important part. You don't need any prior technical skills at all. I was trying to figure out this uh, for a long time, for weeks, and I couldn't find a solution. I tried looking at other YouTube videos, uh, other blog posts. I compiled everything together so it eases everything out for you. As I said just now, you need a domain name. So you buy it from Namecheap, uh, GoDaddy, Bluehost. You connect it inside Builderall. So from my, uh, you create a funnels, you create any, any sites or funnels that you want and then you just uh, go for more options and you connect your domain. So I already did that with this. This is my domain name which is pixelnextofficial.com. It's, also my, uh, it's actually my personal brand domain. Uh, inside Builderall, when you connected your main domain, there's going to be this uh, section, emails. You're not going to see with any of the others because all of these others are either subdomains or unpublished uh, funnels that I've created. So you, uh, you go inside here, emails. Now, as you can see, I already created um, three professional email addresses. Uh, next, at pixelnetofficial.com, my personal brand, support, and info. So as, uh, okay, you scroll down here inside the document. And these are the steps that you're going to be, uh, you're going to have to take. All right. Um, so for the sake of this example, now let's say your domain name is roxy.com. 
you can do you can do roxy at roxy.com support at roxy.com i think you get it but in this example i'm going to be using uh, super at pixelnexofficial.com i mean like why not <laughs> right um then you create your password add all right so now you can access the webmail inside rain loop so now that you're inside um, we can log in and I'm going to show you uh, how it looks so rain loop is actually the webmail that Builderall uses it's a custom email um, webmail that they use but personally I don't really like using it and once you create your professional email address, it might take some time. Alright guys, so now we're inside Rainloop. So this is the custom email, webmail that Builderall uses. Now personally, I don't really like this because in order to access this, you can only do it through a server. I tried looking it up in the Play Store. I'm not sure about the App Store in iOS, but I'm sure it's not there as well. And I like to use my email on the go when I'm outside, whenever I can. Gmail is the best option. So I, that's why I chose uh, to use it in Gmail. I don't really like using it in here. All right, moving on. So step two, you go to your Gmail and to configure the incoming and outgoing uh, settings, server settings I'm going to show you how so you go click this gear icon go to settings now for step 3 first we're going to be configuring the incoming uh, emails into Gmail so I created this uh, Gmail account um, when you're inside settings go to accounts and import go to this part check mail from other accounts add a mail account So we're inside here, you go back and grab your business email address. Um, okay, put it inside and click next. Um, this one also next, import me emails from other account using POP3. If you don't know what POP3 is, you can search it up on Google. I'm not going to waste uh, much time inside this video explaining everything. So inside, username, um, you put your business email address, the password. Okay, this password is a password that you configured inside Ring Loop. It's not a new password, right? Okay, now for this POP server, go back up uh, in the document. And as you can see here, I have this website over here, whatsmydns.net. I already opened it up in a new tab. So basically, you have to find your, you're going to have to find your pop server over here. And it's not this one, it's actually, you actually have to find it in here. So you type up your domain name, they connected inside the build wall, and you click search. Actually, this isn't where you want to go. Um, not the A records. Okay, you have to go to MX. And then you click search. Alright, so now you see this. This is your incoming and outgoing server. So you control C. And I think it's all this is the same for all of us. I'm not really sure. Because whenever you want to access Rain Loop, they're gonna show um, this this domain. So you go inside here, you see these numbers 06, this is what I mean by mm, the XX, yeah, so the outgoing, outgoing and the incoming server, you have mail XX dot blah blah blah, this XX is the number, and I'm pretty sure it's the same for everyone. Now, so this is uh, to configure the incoming emails, you go to port, and pop3 port is 995 and next as you follow the steps you check all three of these you leave this one unchecked because you don't want to archive the emails when you get into gmail you want you don't you don't want them to skip the inbox you want them to go inside the inbox and add account 
Next, we're going to be configuring how to set up the outgoing from Gmail email. So how you're going to configure uh, the business email when you send the emails out. Automatically, you're going to be sent out to this page. Um, and you click yes. I want to be able to send mail as super at fixingofficial.com. Click next. So put in your name. So mine is pixel next. Um, Julius alias. Next step. So in this section, you do you do the same thing. So the SMTP server is going to be the same thing that you found inside here. <coughs> the port for the outgoing server is going to be 465. The username is this. And also the password of your um, business email when you set it up inside Rainloop at account. Okay, now you need to verify and enter the confirmation code. So usually it's very fast. The, it goes into Rainloop. Um, as you can see here, access it. Okay, this is your confirmation code. So you go back. Um, put it inside here and verify. You can also see it inside your inbox. So inside uh, Gmail, when you go to inbox, but it might take some time for you to reach there. Actually, no, yeah, it took. It's actually very fast. So it's actually the same thing, and yeah. I think you're done. Now to explain this, um, what I showed you just now was way one because when you set up the incoming in, into Gmail, it's automatically going to bring you to a section where you can configure the outgoing from Gmail as well. There's also another way to do this. If let's say you want to set it up um, separately, so you go incoming, and then you accidentally shut down your computer and you didn't get a chance to set up the outgoing so there's a simple fix you just go to way to and send mail as and add another email address so you just follow the, uh, the steps inside here and yeah you're done that's it and one more thing you go into accounts and import you have to click this by default it's going to be like this so you click it like this reply from the same address the message was sent to because when people send an email to super at i want them to get in uh, get the email inside gmail but when i send it out again i don't want it to go from pandanextinfo at gmail.com which is my gmail account I want it to come from super at pixelnextofficial.com. So that's, that's why I do that. As you can see, this check email from other accounts. This is, uh, this is confirmation that the email should go through to uh, super at pixelnextofficial.com through pop3 inside this Gmail account. And we send it out again to your subscribers or anyone else through this um, custom domain name. Uh, I'm sorry, business email address, it will come from here and not from your uh, registered Gmail account. At the bottom of the document, I also have um, an interesting offer for you. So if you're interested in joining my Build Raw Business Heroes affiliate team, where I show you, I'm going to be giving you bonuses, I'm going to give you a free, uh, complete training on how you can leverage the Build Raw affiliate program to earn recurring commissions every single month. Um, you can check it out at the bottom of the document here. I'll click on this. So I guess that's it for the video. I hope that you found value in this. I hope you found value. Uh, consider subscribing. I'm going to be releasing more videos about affiliate marketing, about build wrong. Like this video, comment, share this video to, videos to other people who might be looking for this kind of information. 
because I know that I was stuck when I wanted to figure this out. I'm just happy to give it out uh, back to, to other people when I found something that could actually help me. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.